Hey, it's Joe Lyons from the Automator, and uh, in today's little script I have for you, it's one I think I shared from a webinar before, but um, I don't think I actually have a single instance of it. So let me let me show you here what it does. Someone reached out to me; and they were, you know, wanting to be able to to have a lot of basically hot strings. The problem, of course, with hot strings uh, is that you can't remember them all if you have a lot of them. And so this little script here, this is the, everything is in here, right? It's it's fully contained to add it. So I'm using this crazy pipe just because you this would never come up or probably never come up in something you're using. So we're just parsing on it. Each each line is going to be something that you might want to type, right? So we're storing that in a variable text. Um, if you want this alphabetized, you can have this line here. If you don't, just comment it out. So I'm going to uncomment to start. Um, so they won't be out. They'll show up in this order. And then Control Shift L is for me just like list is what I was thinking. Right here's my list of stuff. Is going to trigger this text menu function, and we pass it the text variable. So from here it jumps into here, and this text options that's what gets used. Here's the parameter, and we parse it the using store split. We're parsing on that crazy pipe, and it's going to iterate over it and dump it into my menu. Right where we're actually, and then I, I added this trim just to, to get rid of the, if there's white spaces on the ends, just because you probably don't want those, right? So just in case they're up there, I, you could turn that off if you didn't want that function. Uh, and then the action is going to be how it actually, you know, jumps to it. And this is going to show it. And then after it shows, it will delete it all once you've selected something. So when you have the action, it jumps in here to this label and first backs up your clipboard. And then it gets, this is what I love, this A, this menu item. So it's going to pull whichever one you selected. Shove it into the clipboard. Sorry, right here. Shove it into the clipboard. Send a control V for paste. Now this is a very important step. Add a sleep of like 50 uh, to 100, somewhere in there. You want to sleep because if you if you restore your clipboard too soon, it ends up pasting your restore this because it says paste, but then restores the clipboard before it pastes. So it's really crazy. So let me demonstrate here. Let me bring over site. And let me launch this. So control, and let me zoom in here. So control shift L. So here are the options. Notice they're not alphabetized because here's this, where have you been up for chat? So that didn't work. Let's try it again. There we go. Maybe let's go back into here and maybe I'm going to make this 100. I think that 50 was a bit too slow. So I, I relaunched it. Control shift L. Did you miss me? I missed you. So there we go. And that's that's basically it. Now let's say we wanted to, actually, you know what? This Let's say we wanted a new line, where have you been? And then a new line here. This, of course, you just put in the tick mark N. So the thing to the left of the one, the tick mark N. Save, reload, control shift L. Now it doesn't display here, right? Where have you been? Up for a chat. So it doesn't show you that line break there. However, when you paste it, notice it does have the line break there. Of course, we probably would want to get rid of the spaces. So we'd probably want it like this. Save, reload, control shift, oh, let's, control shift L. Where have you been? And notice it puts it in there. So that's a simple way. Now let's, let's add back in the alphabetize. Because if you have a lot of these, to me, I don't want to have to manually alphabetize them, but when you're going to look for the stuff, when you have a lot of them, control shift L, you can just think of the first word, right? Oh, I don't think I uh, launched it. Launch it, control shift L. And now the alphabetization is not, why is A, D, what, why is, oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the sorting, okay, if you, if you do have a line break, you can't sort. Okay, quick intermission. I happen to be <laughs> editing this video and had a thought. What if we use the tick mark R for the line break instead of the tick mark N? The tick mark R is the carriage return and tick mark N is a new line character. And when we use the tick mark R, even with the sort, uh, it does, so control shift L, uh, you don't see it here. Uh, where was it? Are you up? For, so now it is alphabetically sorted but it still puts in the line break. So I was incorrect in here where I said you can't use it, um, just FYI, so ignore that part. Back to the original schedule. Um, and honestly, that, that would be much more complex to figure out how to fix that. We'd have to encapsulate one, probably shove it into an object to have them completely by themselves and then do it, um, at least off the top of my head. So so I would leave off the alphabetization if you have this tick mark in. If we get rid of this and re-enable this, so we lunch and then come back, control shift L.
So notice they're alphabetized. Um, so that's just a little bummer. It's not a simple fix for that, at least not one that pops to mind. Now, that's interesting. That Again, didn't... Uh, let's go back and take a look here. What else could it be? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Let's let's do this. Um, so clipboard. Oh, we need to move this up above, and then add a clip weight. Clip weight comma. We'll give it. This is in seconds, so we're going to say one. Um, now let's relaunch it. Let's see if this still works. Control shift down. Ready. So that worked, but there was quite a delay there. Let me try this again. Shift down. No, and it's waiting. Unfortunately, it's waiting for that to get shoved in there. So I think what we need to do is the this clipboard wait actually. We do it, so we blank the clipboard, try to push something into it, and then we wait for it. I was doing the wait before we shut, so it was waiting a second, um, and then it did it after, so it basically added like a sleep kind of. And so what I should have been doing was saying, hey, let's blank the clipboard, let's put it here, and then it's gonna wait for it to have something. And so that's the important part, is clear the clipboard out, put this in there, and now this should, at least the bare minimum, control shift down, it should, this part should be quick. Now, what will be interesting is if that got rid of the times where it was missing. And so far, it's been a good. So that's interesting. Seems to be good now. I'm glad we worked through that. I hadn't actually used it that much. It, again, I use QAP, quick access pop-up for this kind of stuff. Uh, I like being able to build it, but QAP has so many other things that makes it much more complex. And of course, if you want to add a new one, you could just come in here and say, I would just copy this, so copy, paste, save, reload, control shift L, let's get wrong this, control shift L. That is all you have to do, there it is, and there it is. So I think it's pretty slick. Nice, easy way to be able to have those at your fingertips. Of course, you can change that hotkey here. I'm using Control Shift L, right? Study up and out of hotkey. Look at the different hotkeys you could have for that. Hope it helps. Cheers. Oh, and hey, if this helps you, please like the video. It really helps me out. Um, and, you know, add some comments or, or see if, if you have any ideas of how you're going to use it. Cheers.